and I uploaded it to YouTube and I totally forgot to share it, I think. I just need to share it. I did merge that call, but every Thursday I'll be doing another one and another one and another one for um, Emerald in 24 hours. I did share one where I'll actually make it a call for Emerald in an hour. I, I strongly feel like I watched something with the Pearson husband. The husband did a call and I shared it in my team page. Maybe I put it in yours too. And he totally makes a solid point that Emerald in an hour. It's totally doable. Um, so we'll do that call every week. You're more than welcome to invite your teams, your potential coaches, anybody who you invite. Um, another thing that I wanted to do with you guys is let y'all know that Shirley is about to pop. We all know this. So I'm going to take over the calls and, you know, just at eight o'clock, I'm going to start. I'm not going to wait. I'll record it, whether it's just me on or not. Like I'm just going to roll and share tips on Mondays um, for you to just kind of improve engagement in your page, improve your challenge groups, and just give you post ideas too. I have been watching Haley Christensen like a hawk and this Bob, this Bob is all over the place and I just, I love it, but I've been grabbing some tips from her. So um, today I wanted to talk selfies and challenge groups and strategize for the week and give you guys like actual activities to do which aligns with what you're already doing just to kind of make sure that you're on the right track. So feel free to put questions in the chat and I will check them at the end because I don't, I don't check them as we go. All right. So another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is Boss Babe University. I have opened up Boss Babe University. Um, Clarissa, I don't think I have you as friend on me. So if you or your team wants to join, get yourself in there and just add them in there. I created the group set up in units and it is just the basics for a new coach. It is not Emerald material. It is not anything confusing. And I didn't put a whole lot in there so they can get through the first 14. That first, you know, the first 14 days as a coach, they should be hitting Emerald by then. Once they hit Emerald, they will get into the sister page, Emerald to Diamond group. Um, and in that group, it's still under construction, but they will get the steps that you're pretty much getting in the Diamond Dash group so that they have that support and they can automatically request um, access to that group. I'll link it to the new coach training so they that we don't have to, oh, you know, send all these in links or whatever. We just tell them once you finish all these assignments and once you hit Emerald, you need to be in the other group and they just request access. And you as a coach know whether or not they get approved. Um, so something also that I, I want to mention is that you guys should have your calendars set up. If you don't already have your calendar for August set up, get after it. Go and start looking at the dates, August, um, and start circling at least when your next challenge group is going to start. Shirley, I'm going to strongly suggest that if you want to send your people with me, I, I will adopt them. I am running new boot camps in the my challenge tracker app so they won't get confused and be in my personally sponsored challengers group i don't add them until after um they've received my email and they'll receive a link so you can add them to your forever fit family all of you do the same thing if you want to run a giant my challenge tracker app group together that's even a better idea and that leads me into challenge group improvement strategies I was talking to my coach, Jennifer, which I'm sure she's at work today, and I need to get back into the habit of this, but the way I increased engagement in my challenge groups was running mini challenges. Mini challenges are super awesome, and I gave away swag. So if you have new people coming in, tag them. For the first week, you're private messaging them every other day. I got that from Bonnie Engel, she and, and Melanie Mitro. Every other day, hey, how are you doing? How's your meal planning? How's all that go? So you're in their box, whether they're messaging you back or not. You should have access to their phone numbers. I mean, I always get my people's phone number. They're texting me. So if you don't have their phone numbers, I'm going to suggest that you 
in your informational email or messages where you're signing them up, you send them that number and make them text you and then carry the conversation on there. That way you're calling them or texting them and checking in on them. And it's way more personal that way. That's how I know I've gotten a lot more engagement. Um, I send, I used to send, and I'm going to start writing them out again. I used to send handwritten notes. I know somebody just mentioned that I would send them handwritten notes with a quote that was personally thought about them. And I would tell them, Hey, I want you to pin this up and take a picture of it, put it on your fridge or pin it up somewhere. Let me know you got it. And it's an inspirational quote. And cause I got, I always get to know them. That's, I think that's why my teams don't grow so fast is because I legit get to know these people like nitty gritty, but they're best friends for life when I do that. So I'm cool with my stuff not growing massively because I don't want to lose anybody. Um, anyway, and she reminded me that I, I, I sent her this, this card. It was just a simple card, handwritten note, inspirational thing, and telling her I believed in her in some form or fashion. So that's another way to get engagement out of them, letting them know, hey, I believe in you. Share your sweaty selfie. You're texting them. Swear your share your sweaty selfie. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and bought some swag from there, just some cheap little bags from Hobby Lobby and did a little, you know, t post for this, you know, um, and I'll share the graphics with you guys too. I made little graphics where it told them this whole week, we're going to do mini challenge. And I went live and I pumped them up and I said, Oh my gosh, we're going to do this. I feel like we need extra engagement. I would love to see your faces more. Um, I just feel it makes it more fun. Let's end some, you know, and you could totally go off with it and say, Oh, let's just end summer with a bang. Um, I know you guys have some last minute trips. Here's, you know, I'm going to raffle off a little bag. It's not who, you know, who does the most it's, it's by chance, but the more you do it, the more you play, the more chances you have to win. So, um, fun little, fun little pictures. And it's not all exercise. Like some of it's drop a picture of you and your family doing something fun. Um, favorite recipe, share your Shakeology recipe, share your sweaty selfie, share your sweaty selfie is on every single one of the pictures. Let me go into Can Canva and show you guys that way I can, um, show you real quick. And I had massive engagement because of those. And it takes a while and it helps when you have people who are doing it with you that are already so if your team is running it together and you're doing a thing together there's a better chance for engagement let me share my screen real quick share screen and i'm sure you guys have seen it but see flex friday saturday share drop your story in the comments share your story and i just ask them hey share about yourself tuesdays i've I go in and I drop my transformation and say, Hey, transformation Tuesdays, you know, flood me with pictures. I want to see you. Um, I even did this with my coaches in the group for my coaching. Um, I kind of fell off a little bit, but again, it's because the engagement picked up and I started seeing them do the things that I wanted them to do. So where did you get these from or did you make them? I made them. I made them. I just share them with you. The inspiration behind them to make them. Huh? Where'd you get the inspiration behind? Did you find them like on Pinterest and then just made your own or? No, I just made my own. Okay. I kept it simple. The, when I go to create designs, I saw something that looked like it would be a good design for it. And I just went with it and I kept them all the same so that they would know blah, blah, blah. And I've heard other calls, other team calls of girls that they organize their stuff and and the discussion is set up so that every Monday, somebody has, has, you know, every Monday, every Tuesday, whoever is assigned to that day, they'll post it. And the only place that the people of challengers can post is in the comments of this picture. So they know what to expect. Monday, motivation, motivation, Monday, motivate someone today to, you know, send 25. This is for coaches. I told them send 25 private motivational messages. I like to do that. Some people feel like it's spammy. I'm like, I wouldn't mind. I never... Like Carol hates chain, chain mails. Carol hates it. She hates when people send them that stuff. To me, I'm like, they're loving on me. I don't care. Um, I don't hit block or delete. Some people do, whatever. For me, it's they, and I don't go and copy and paste a picture. Like I send them something that I feel like is a quote for me or I'll send them my video and I'll send it to the people that I'm like knowing that they're constantly liking and commenting on my stuff. I engage with those people all the time first and then I'll, send, I'll throw in a few strangers. Thank someone today. That's so easy. Just go and thank, send somebody a thank you message. You know, thanks for liking my post. Thanks for showing some love. 
You know, I tell them to go send, you know, whatever. Self-care Sunday, post a selfie of your self-care. What did you do? Did you drink some beer? I don't know. Whatever your self-care was. Did you get a massage, pedicure? Anyway, I have a ton of these, like West, Wisdom Wednesday. Um, back then I was going live a whole lot more in my challenge groups and I'm going to do it again now again because I feel like the engagement's slowing down a little bit and I have a whole bunch of new eyes on me and I want to keep the momentum up. So um, something really stuck to me on one of the calls where she said, don't under deliver in your challenge groups. Like you hype them up and I feel like I do that. You hype them up to this amazing challenge group and then it's just wah, wah, wah you know? So go in there and it, and it helps to have people who know what to expect out of those groups doing it and setting the example. So running one alone kind of sucks. You know, first 30 days with your coach, first maybe three challenge groups with your coach while you build your personal page up should be like a must, I think. Um, what else? So that's what, that's what I think. So we should def I think we should definitely do a giant challenge group in August. And since ours already kicked off for this month, we should just be posting in each other's groups. Whatever we don't see engagement, let's just post in each other's group. Even if it's just like our selfies, our drink, our food, et cetera. We should, like how we do with the, the pod, we should do it within our groups as well, our challenge groups, posting in them as well just as a challenger because obviously our other challengers don't know who we are so we can just post in there create engagement in there as well and make it a to-do list like i know you're like oh my gosh another thing to post to dude it's just copy and paste that's what i do i just copy and paste once i post i copy and paste into everything yeah and that's exactly how, like nobody knows except for us that it's a copy and paste it's about getting ourselves organized just a little bit more. Set a timer. If all you do for 30 minutes is just go in there and check into all your groups, set that 30 minutes, and then you did work for the day. Hey, you did some work. Then go play with your kids. Then come back. Do another 30 minutes of work. I feel like um, we get bogged down with sitting for hours and hours straight. I read, I watched a TED Talk. I'm a nerd. Sorry. I watched TED Talk, and they insist on 20 minutes max on any given task. Switch tasks after 20 minutes because your brain is no longer paying attention. It's just not. If you're sitting still, get up at least and stretch for five minutes. Do something. Um, change, change whatever sensors you're working on because you become unproductive after 20 minutes. It's crazy. Um, strategies for the week. Strategies for the week. God, I hope this is recording because I'm just zipping through here. Um, strategies for the week. I know that I saw a graphic. Can't remember where I saw it. I want to say it was an Ashley Molstad's video for the Diamond Dash group. If you're not in there, I'm curious why. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to throw that shit out there. Ashley style. Like, why aren't you fucking two star yet? She tells me. <laughs> Anyway, um, there's a graphic. You need to do at least two, two to three invites posts this week. Some can be direct invites. Some can be indirect invites. I super love when Carol drops the, hey, how far are you from your goal? That was a really good one. I'm still trying to pick a day to steal that one from you. Um, Carol's really good at throwing shit out there. I just would love for her to close a little bit more. She just, I'm going to call you out because that's what I do, right? Um, she, you go and look at her page. If you don't look at Carol's page, you might have to scroll a little bit because she posts frequently, but she has massive engagement and she's constantly gauging where people are at their fitness level. Um, and I love it. Like she just throws stuff out there, gets people talking and gets people dropping comments and, and talking about their, their goals and their weight. So Go study that. I think Carol does an amazing job doing that. So I say pick at least one day to do an indirect, one to do a direct, you know, hey, I'm looking for 20 people one. Um, Amy Silverman and Haley Christensen, go and study how they say their stuff. And even Jatana Jackson, they do a call to action one like that once a week for, or actually two, two, maybe two to three times a week when they're promoting hard for their group. 
So if they're promoting hard for their group, they'll go in there and do at least two indirect ones and one direct, hey, I am looking for these people. This is what you can expect. Drop your emoji. And they put a cute graphic. It's not usually a sweaty selfie. Amy Silverman usually shows some ass. Um, Haley Christensen's usually doing a cute thing with her hair. And Jatana's usually in like something not sweaty clothes. She's like wearing something cute. So, um, and then again, if you heard that call, throw a couple of other pictures of what they can expect transformations in the background. That's always a cool thing to do. So do that. And for sure, at least one time, one time this week, do a direct call to action coaching invite. So the way I do it is like Monday, Monday nights, and we could totally pod this, you know, Monday night, like at nine o'clock, we could jump off really quick, do a call to action post. Hey, lift fours off with a hitch. Oh my God, super excited. I opened up 10 more spots. You won't be in the official test group, but I totally can help you with this program or whatever you want to say. Drop your emoji if you still haven't heard back from you or whatever. Um, and share that today. And then Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday, Haley Christensen does a lot of like face-to-face -face stuff. She shows... People apparently take pictures of themselves before they're skinny. I didn't ever do that, and I screwed myself out of a lot of shit. I, I have two driver's licenses as proof that I was fucking fat. Like, I was massive. Um, so um, go in there and, and definitely do that. Plan your week out. Plan your week out. Your assignment, I guess, should be plan your week out and drop it in, your comp drop it in the 90-day push group. Plan your week out. Let me know what posts you're going to do. Only two posts a day, max. I don't want you posting like 25 fucking times. Don't waste your time doing that. You should be inboxing people um, 10 at a time. You know, 10 invites in the morning, 10 invites at lunch, 10 invites brunch or whatever, or whatever you do in the afternoon. I don't know the name for that. After lunch special, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like, and they, they're quick. Boom, boom, boom. And then in the evening, respond to them after you make your call to action post. And I think that's good. So um, snapshot, just take a quick picture of what your, what your plan is for the week, how you're gonna strategize, what you're promoting next. I'm promoting the hell out of 80 Day Obsession. I miss that program. I miss Autumn already. Um, we worked out together on Saturday and my ass still hurts. I love that program. So I'm gonna do that one. I, like I'm promoting it because I love it. So I'm, I've been promoting it in the behind the scenes and in my challenge group, in my challenge group and in my um, stories, my IG stories. I've already told them, Hey, I've got, I've got something new coming up for those of you who missed out on the floor. So that starts for me on the 27th. That's prep week. And you're going to start a challenge group at the end of the month is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. That's smart. Yeah, I start one at the end of the month, every month. Um, Lift four, and I promote for it. Uh, Lift four, I've been promoting for Lift four for like a month already. And the only reason that it's in the middle of the month is because that's when he decided to launch. But the people who got in for that, they bought their challenge pack. They bought their challenge pack last month, and the stragglers bought theirs last night, so they won't get theirs until I start the twenty seventh. Yeah, the first two weeks of the month, I always promote for coaching, my sneak peek. Um, in the inboxes, but in my, and in my stories, I will promote for the coaching. I make sure that I'm doing a sneak peek that first week of the month. Then I'll promote for my challenge group, and I'll promote the hell out of that. And I do, I, I do a little bit of both and just go with it. Um. Sorry, I don't know if you hear this little critter back here just talking and talking and talking. Anyway, coaching, yeah, that way the that way they're all set up for the new coach training. I and I that the what that's the way I promote it anyway. Oh my gosh, it started the new coach training, blah blah blah. Um, and then people start asking, well, how do you earn money? Blah blah. blah. Uh, and so they put I put them in that sneak peek. We talk about it. They have the whole month to like stew and then by the end of the month, if they sign up and 
if they have questions or whatever, they have had money to save up and they start that challenge group at the end of the month. But that's what I have. Anything else? Let me find the chat box because I don't even know where that thing is. You're still sharing your screen too. Okay, so I have to stop sharing. And then I can see a chat. Oh, there's stuff in the chat. How do I get into your boss, babe? Yes, I will. Um, friend request me. Or I think Shirley's in Boss Babe University. Did I think I already add you? Shirley can approve you. And oh, anybody who's wondering what this was in the back of my head. Sorry. Um, um, I'll make you guys admins so that you can start adding your people and you keep track of them. Okay. And that, that should take care of that. And then only admins can approve post. They can't post in there. It's set up as a discussion, not as a discussion, as a learning lesson. So it's set up where they just go in there in order. Okay. Handwritten notes are awesome. I was like a few cards. Yes, yeah, send those shit out. Yes, yeah, send it. Love, love, send. I used to love sending them. And I don't know why I stopped. Now I sound like Letty. <laughs> I've heard her say stuff like that all the time. It's but like you guys have a lot on your plate like I get overwhelmed thinking about all this stuff I would be fine like I need I'm one of those people that needs a day planner and alarms going off boom this time go off you need to do this boom this time go off you need to do this because like being my own boss is really hard especially right now do you have an alarm set up on your phone I used to and then I stopped yeah I stopped since we left Hawaii I used to have alarms set up yeah. for everything like motivational to keep to get me going through the day alarm set to do this alarm set to do that but i stopped i really need to get back on it i guess a quick question i want to give you guys the last few minutes like q and a me real quick like is there something you guys are struggling with that you need help with that you have like anything i feel like i have all this fucking knowledge and i just need people to do it with me. i have a question <laughs> Um, okay, so my posting, I'm okay with running my business, I'm okay with. It's like literally closing the deal. I can be like, drop your emoji, or you know, whatever it is to catch people, and they'll reach out to me, or I'll invite people, and I'll get the conversation going, and they'll be excited. And I don't know what it is, but like, I can't, I can't ever get them to commit. And I'm like, not I can't figure out if I'm like not saying the right thing or like how why are they so excited about getting the information but then they're like not jumping on the opportunity to be a part of the group or you know to buy the town pack. As yeah. Ashley would say, as I'm gonna interrupt you, as Ashley would say, they just don't trust you enough. And that's completely fine. You just gotta build that trust with them. Yeah. And they're not ready. So it was one, they don't trust you enough, and two, they're just not ready. The good thing is that you put that seed in their, in their ear or whatever, and you can move on to the next thing. And yeah. like I, I did this a while ago when I came before, you can start off a list, like doing the list thing. I mean, I think it works for everyone. People want to see their name on a list. You start off a list and you put all of us on the list. If you need to change our names around, change our names around, change the spelling around. Use our maiden last name. Use our maiden name. Make up whatever name you want to. Because you're going to have those one, two, three, four, five people from our little group in that group anyway. Yeah, that's true. So you can change it around and just add those people to the list and move on with that, you know? And just continue working on building that trust. And I think it's really about us having that. Um, confidence in us that's lacking to where people aren't able to like really get that you know what i mean like a car salesman you know how to be like people could sell ice to an eskimo type deal there are people like that and sometimes i feel like we doubt our own selves especially when somebody asks what's the price and i'll let them know what the price is but after i list every single thing that they're going to get and i let them know and it's only 170 or 150 or 180 i let them know that you know, and if they're ready, nine times out of 10, they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's such a good deal. I'm like, it is a good deal. You know, it's an amazing deal because our superfoods by itself is $130.
no matter where you buy it. I said, but you can get an awesome discount like I do and get it for 115. And if you're military, you get even more discount. So like that's, it's, I think it's about the confidence that you have in yourself. It's about them not trusting you and you need to build that. You need to help them build that trust in you and just them not being ready. Cause we always have those certain people that, you know, always want to be a part of the free group, always want something for free, always want to be like, Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. And they never are, you know, and that's not, that's not for you to deal with. That's for them something that they need to move on with, but you cannot blame yourself for that because that one person that's not ready and you keep waiting on them to answer you back or waiting for them to answer that link, that's 16 more people you could have reached out to or 20 more people you could have reached out to. Yeah. I agree. Thanks, I, I also think that it's sometimes you let the conversation run cold. If you wait too long, that feeling of I got to jump on this fades away and they lose they lose that sense of urgency. So you've got to get them either to a place where you're talking back and forth fast or get them on the phone. And, um, and if they're ready, they're going to do it. Like if they have the money, people fucking spend money on stupid shit on impulse buying all the time. And I hate saying it like that, but that you've got to have them impulse almost impulse buy sometimes when they're afraid of the price. Another strategy that I've learned it and it was with, it was not a beach body thing, but I always upsell. I sell the like I try to suggest the most expensive one and work my way down to oh well you can start with the basic one. It's only this much. Throw that big number out there and then they're like, Oh no, I can do this one. This one's doable. And yeah, I don't know if you guys saw um on one of our team calls, Ashley Molstad had said that and I kind of adopted her way of selling. She'll be like, whatever the top package is, and she'll be like, that's the one that I use. And then she'll send them like results, and she'll be like, and that's the one all these people use. And then like you said, work your way down. Well, I guess you can do the basic, but if you want those results, that's what we're all using. And that, like, I think people have been more confident, like when I'm just like, this is what I use, and this is what I think you should do. Whereas instead of you just send them like, you know, the options and be like, just pick one and let me know. Yeah. They're more prone to buy whatever. And then using the share cart, like people are really liking that. I just send them the link and they're like, awesome. And then they buy it. So I think like you're right. Having that boldness in telling them this is the package you need to have is better than giving them the options. And don't be scared of sending that big number out. Like people pay. I've done a little bit of conversating with people who buy Advocare. They are, they are popping pills at 500 bucks a month. And I'm like, whoa, like you're not even eating. What are you doing? Um, so yeah, that rodent, the rodent in fields, people, $1,200, like stupid money, stupid money. It's just, you got to put it out there. If they're like Shirley said, if they, if they're ready, they're going to do it. They'll find a way. And I, I'm also going to tell you to put them on the spot and turn it on. You, like you said, you know, they are excited. Ask them, Hey, I know you were super excited about it. What changed? Is this not and a good also, time for you? And also I wanted to implement, um, I like, I love the informational groups, but instead of running free groups, I think we should just have people drop into our challenge groups for 14 days and then kick them out afterwards. And what I think is going to really spark them about that is that they can't try lift four. They can try one workout from there, but within the free group, they won't be able to try it. So they can try something else and post in there, but they'll only have that access for 14 days and then kick them out afterwards. I don't run free groups. No, I'm saying I don't run free groups either, but I've had a lot. I've been offering people like free trials and stuff like that. And they've been jumping on it and I'm having to check in on them, check in on them. Like I'm checking in on them every day. And I'm like, I should just drop them into the challenge group, the, the My Challenge Tracker app, and have them see like how it's ran and how we do things in there, and then just kick them out 14 days later. Sounds like a good idea, but just keeping track of, you know, who's in there. I think it'll be, you just got to set an alarm to remember to kick them. I mean, regardless of that, even if they stay in the group, they won't have access to anybody on demand anymore. Wow. Um, Shirley, we, another girl and I, um, we did that, but we did it for coaching. So what we did is we signed them up with the 14-day free trial. 
and then they got the seven day sampler for Shakeology and we did like a we did a, like a coach apprenticeship so we showed them how to post on your social media and show that you're doing this new workout all the basics like of being a coach um to get them to see if it was something they wanted to do and the two girls like we had like five people in the group but the two that ran with it they signed up as coaches and they did really well but it was a lot harder than like how you're saying of putting them into something we already have and then kicking them out it was a group specially just for that and then so once they went to that group uh, through that two-week apprenticeship is what we called it then we rolled them over to like if they actually bought the challenge pack and signed up as a coach they went into our groups but if they didn't then they're just in that group and then the next time we run it they're still in there every time we run that apprenticeship That's a really good idea. yeah it worked out pretty well why did you stop I only did it once, and then uh, sorry, it's fine. and then summit happened, and then I've been traveling, so I think I've had a chance to run it again. But it's definitely something I'm gonna pick up again because it worked. I mean, out of five people, I only got one coach, but the more I do it, I'm sure I can, you know, and tweak it a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know if you guys also got a chance to catch um, Emily's last video. I've been doing three day sneak peeks. And she was saying not to do three days and to do five days because the three days is like not enough or whatever. And she does hers five days. And I think I'm going to try out this month to do the five days. Like I talk about it a week before, a week and a half before. And um, okay, sorry. Talk about it a week or a week and a half before. And then she goes in on Monday. She, says she just does one post on Monday. And then, to, oh, her phone died. <laughs> She does one post on Monday, and then I think she said the very last day, she keeps talking about income, 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 but she doesn't touch the income subject until the very last day on Friday, and then she shares her income, her income growth or whatever, and she said, you guys, it doesn't have to be like, oh, it's because it's me, I'm number three in the network. She's like, no, she's like, I've been doing this. She's like, that's how I build it or whatever. She said, so when I was making a few hundred dollars, I was still sharing it, you know, Know, and then she built it up or whatever so basically just like building it up building up for the income and she shared Ashley's income as well so I was like that's something we can definitely do and she was like for the whole weekend she lets them know that enrollment is open um, and everything like that because she said some people will be like they won't say nothing they'll be a fly on the wall and just send her a message I'm ready to sign up or when she sends them a message just be like I'm ready to sign up I need to be in one of hers because I do the exact same thing um, I think this month was the only time that I did a three day one because uh, we were coming back from summit and I was on the road and I still showed up and I still did it on the side of the, like I eight o'clock, I pulled over wherever the I was and I did it cause I, you know, I'm serious about it. And I like, I've been doing it five days. I saw Anita Myron was doing it five days and she slowly starts and it kind of, kind of mess me, meshes with what, Clarissa was saying with the apprenticeship, I would, I share a meal plan with them. I, you know, I did all of that stuff, but I need to see what they're doing because I'm not having that conversion. She I was saying that she wasn't posting a lot in it. So she was like, she's not making it to, she was posting once a day in them. So people are not getting overwhelmed with like a massive amount of messages and videos and lives. And she said if she, when she did do her videos, they were the max it was, was 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe that's what it is or whatever. And she was like, of course she would um, promote it, but she would also private message a lot of people. She said she was on 2%. <laughs> she had to hop off. She said um, she'd also, you know, private message people and invite them and send them the direct link and everything like that. So, I mean, I know it's frustrating, you know, not to have anyone in those groups, but I think it's, it'll also be a good thing to do. Like just continue doing it, even if it's only for practice. Well, I, like I, I stuck with that method and also I don't delete the group anymore. I don't delete it anymore. I just delete everything and then con and start all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm not making a brand new group. Yeah. And I've got, I've got close to a hundred people in there now. And I do. Are you messaging them. them at all? Or are you just letting them be flies on the wall? No, I message them. Um, I message them on enroll on, on Friday on enrollment day. And the people Hold on a second. My sister's calling. I'm listening. Okay. Um, and then I check on them. I say, hey, I see, like, I go in there and I'll message everybody. 
And I've got one that's sitting on the fence. I need to get back to her now that I'm thinking about it. Um, that she wants to start in August out of like the 80. Um, so it's, that's definitely, you've just got to keep showing up, keep showing up. And I've been adding people to it every, every time. And I've, I've been adding people on Facebook that I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like me. People on Instagram, I send them the link. If they join, they join. If they don't, they don't. But I, they get a message from me. Um, but I need to see, you know, I don't know if it's just because she's already built up that much momentum in her team that it makes a difference. I also snapshot in the back. If you notice, whenever you go to your back office, it'll show you how many new coaches are in your team, whether you sign them up or not. I'll take a screenshot of that and I'll share that as, hey, got new coaches in our team, super excited. And that'll be my thing where I'm like validating what I'm doing. You need to tell people when you're in a selfie. You can't just take random selfies so that your lingua is hanging out. Um, all right, you guys, I'm going to stop the recording because I feel like that's pretty much all we need to do as far as recording worthy. If you have questions, please message your upline and let us know. It is 8.56 and um, I definitely don't want to go over the hour limit.